I'm William Ehlenbach. I'm an assistant professor uh, in the Division of uh, Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine. And for this work, uh, we have looked at associations between severe sepsis and neuropathology findings, taking advantage of a prospective cohort study of aging called the Adult Changes in Thought Study. And what we've done is we have identified hospitalizations that occurred during study participation for subjects. And we're looking at brain autopsy outcomes in the subset of this larger cohort study who have agreed to brain donation. Essentially, we hypothesized that since vascular derangements and microvascular dysfunction is an important cause of organ dysfunction um, for things like acute kidney injury and liver injury in patients with sepsis, we wanted to look at whether we could find evidence of microvascular brain injury in the autopsy brains of these subjects. So we've essentially, we've compared a group of individuals who experienced severe sepsis during study participation and comparing them to those who didn't experience severe sepsis hospitalizations. And what we found is that in unadjusted analyses, uh, uh, nearly twice uh, uh, the proportion of patients uh, who had experienced severe sepsis had evidence of microvascular brain injury as measured by cerebral microvascular infarcts. And when we adjust for uh, common causes of vascular disease such as hypertension, smoking, presence of coronary disease, uh, we still find a persistence of this association between severe sepsis and moderate to severe microvascular brain injury. And in our adjusted model, we uh, estimate that the risk of uh, microvascular brain injury was 1.88 times higher in the individuals who had experienced a severe sepsis hospitalization. So I think you know, this perhaps provides some early insight into the mechanism of the known association between severe sepsis and chronic cognitive dysfunction. Uh, I'm interested in the implications that this research has, uh, not only for understanding mechanism, also for potentially identifying patients who might be uh, good subjects for interventional trials, either intervention during critical illness or especially post-ICU cognitive rehab type interventions. Uh, I'm also interested in, in taking the, the, this finding and thinking if we can identify or testing whether or not we can identify neuroimaging biomarkers of vascular injury, microvascular injury in patients with sepsis, again, to earlier identify patients at risk for long-term or, or chronic cognitive impairment.